What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's try and do another video real quick. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. Um, we did uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville, but that was uh, that was only 20, uh, 20 minutes. So um, I'll see if we could talk about stuff that's on the blogs that I saved. I sponsored, the, yes. I sponsored the now I sponsored the blog. Let me tell you something. Um, I kind of went through the blogs yesterday. I haven't read anything per se, but this clip of Cardi B going around talking about 50-50 relationships is um, is coming up. And um, I thought it was a good because I feel like the 50 50 relationship. Go ahead and like, subscribe and comment. Let me know. Let me know you stop by. I feel like the 50 50 relationship is a bunch of the 50 50 conversation is a bunch of bullshit. I do. I do. I think it's a lot of performing going on when people act like they cannot be in a 50 50 relationship where the man and the woman are contributing equally. I really feel like most relationships are 50 50 and people are acting like the man is taking care of everything because that's what it's supposed to be. Not sure where is that drawn out or who said that the man is supposed to be taking care of everything. Where did y'all get that from? Where did y'all get that from? And then to act like you cannot be in a relationship with somebody and go 50 50. Like that is so ridiculous to me. I've always thought every time I hear y'all, not y'all, but y'all, every time I hear y'all talking about the conversation of 50 50, I'm thinking in my head, most relationships are 50 50 or 60 40, but people are both contributing. It's very rare that the woman is not contributing at all to any kind of streams of income coming in the home. Um, for me, I feel like it's very rare. I want to know where did y'all get the idea that one, the man is supposed to be the head of the house, that two, the man is supposed to take care of everything in the house, all the bills and everything, and supposed to, it's supposed to be the financial, the source of, of the home. Where did y'all learn that? Where did y'all get that from? Who taught y'all that? And have it had has it been successful for the majority of you? There are very few women who can even even stay at home moms make money. So I'm I'm not I'm talking about this idea that the the men are supposed to be the sole provider. I I don't I don't understand that we are powering our homes with solar panels. We are powering our cars with electricity, and y'all still t want talk want to have a conversation about. The man doing everything. Listen to Cardi B. Um, when it comes to 50-50 with a nigga, it really, really, like, because it really depends on your situation, on your lifestyle, right? If you and your nigga make 50000 a year, right? Each, 50000 a year, and y'all planning to buy a house, but only your nigga is, is, is contributing to the bills, to the fucking food, to the rent. Bitch, I'm never going to buy a fucking house. Never. You ain't never going to buy a motherfucking house. But, and, and that's just goals. That goes if, if you want to be part of something, you know, like, unless... You want to like just be a house bitch, but like once you're a house bitch, bitch, you don't got no, you don't got no say so in nothing. Like you can't, you, you like, and a nigga could kick you out whenever the fuck. Have you ever been kicked out by a nigga? I've been bitch and I don't fucking like that feeling. That's why you gotta be, that's why it's always gotta be like, kick me out, nigga. Fuck you mean. <laughs> My shit's on the lease too. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a bad feeling. A nigga kicked me out before and I was dumb tired. I was like, I'm going. Bitch, you know where I went? When that nigga kicked me out, well, if you're from New York, you know that you, um when you go up to the roof, there's like a little, it's like a little floor on the roof before you open it. I went up there, bitch. I slept there when a nigga kicked me out. That's why I don't like, I don't like, like, I like when a nigga, like, you know, I love to get, like, maintain everything, but I do, like. Like, I do, like, ownership of certain shit. Right. Like, 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 I don't understand what y'all be talking about. I have a whole, uh, uh, my house in Atlanta with my nigga. And um, I was asking him, like, you want to go half and half? 
with this house in New York because I need a house in New York because he did not want me to get a house in New York. So he was like, no, you do you. But we are going to buy a house in L.A. and we are planning to buy a fucking apartment in New York City and we're going to go half and half on those. So that type of shit is there. But some of y'all ain't there yet. Some of y'all ain't um, when it comes to... And I, un I understand exactly what she's saying. It's like... To me, I feel like the way that y'all be approaching relationships in this like, oh, I want to be June Cleaver, 1950s housewife with my little heels on and my apron and my little duster. Girl, that is not reality. If you're not, to me, I feel like if you're not seeking partnership with somebody to be a partner and this, this idea, I think it's y'all have romanticized the idea of a man being a protector and a provider. And it's just like, yeah, he should be providing, and so should you. You should be providing for the household to maintain the business of whatever this relationship is. Y'all, I'm sorry, the 50-50 relationship where y'all act like, oh, we're so allergic to going 50-50 with somebody. I feel like it is just like a stupid conversation. I really do. And like all of these blogs and these podcasts where they be like, oh, should we go 50-50? Now nah, we shouldn't go 50-50. He should be paying for everything. Girl, you sound fucking dumb. You sound dumb. You sound dumb. You sound like you want to live in a time. Like, why don't you want to have ownership of things? Why do you want some fickle ass man? Why do you want to be dependent on an adult male? Girl, what's wrong with you? What? Why would you want that? I Y'all explain to me in the comments. I don't understand the aversion to 50-50 relationships. I don't get it. I think that's how the relationship should go. Whether he makes more or you make more, I feel like people should be contributing equally. We have equal shares in this company. Why in the hell should he have more shares than you? And you're probably probably doing the most shit. Like she said, you want to be a house. <laughs> I can't laugh. You want to be a house bitch. You want to stay at home? Is that what you want to do? But I bet you make some money some kind of way. This idea that the man should be doing everything is, is crazy. And studies show that these men, they are not happy doing everything it's wearing them down too like i don't know y'all explain to me but i understand what cardi b was saying and let me just read a couple of comments no woman should ever allow a man to own a hundred percent of their assets be smart ladies period why is this so hard to comprehend ladies ownership is key especially if you have children you gotta think in my aretha franklin voice shout out to her but also, this is her husband, not her boyfriend or BD. The N-word use is weird to me. Girl, why is it weird to it, why is it weird to you? You must live in a different a different state. The, people brown and black use the N-word in New York, honey. Get over it. Girl, ugh. I cringe every time Cardi says the N-word. I don't give her a pass. She's not black. What the fuck? Ugh. That's a y'all be like literally worried about the wrong thing. You cannot control the words that people use out of their mouths. You can't. All you can do is control the intent or respond to the intent of the word that's said to you. This idea that, honey, she is from New York. Like, girl, it, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, everybody, everybody from the islands with a African descent, uh, fucking African um lineage and heritage they using the word come on what are you talking about like ooh, the shit y'all be stuck on the shit y'all be stuck on is just so weak first of all if a man is paying all the bills then the woman is supposed to be contributing to the savings period both incomes can equally contribute to the household 50 50s on the bills is not necessary i have not done it and will not do it secondly the only way to be a stay-at-home mom woman wait Secondly, the only way being a stay-at-home mom works is when there is mutual respect. When he respects her contribution to the household, there's no such thing as his money because he's going to make sure she is good. Who would want that? I just don't get that. That is something that I just, I, it, I just, I just don't get that. Like what? Um, a woman can still be at home and have her own. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we get that. 
this is facts. Get your name on the property or at least get married, right? Because the marriage is the binding of the business, right? It's hard to kick you out and, or take your stuff when your name is on the property or you're married. Protect yourself. Man, listen, a situation like this is how I learned independence. We were in the same house on Monday. He told me I had to leave by Wednesday. I was gone by Tuesday, but he moved in a new woman by Friday. I promised myself never again I will let somebody humiliate me like that. I've been super independent since um, since then, but with a man in my life now, I'm learning to balance. Y'all stay safe out there. Seriously. That's all the comments that I wanted to re read, but ch I, that's how I feel. I feel like she's right about that. Um... Tory Lane's attorney notifies the court that Kylie Jenner and Corey Gamble are on his list of potential defense witnesses in the Megan Thee Stallion shooting trial. Tory Lane's attorney notified the judge that Corey Gamble and Kylie Jenner could be potential um, take the stand as witnesses. According to the defense attorney, the argument, everything started there. Okay, so the trial started, so we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully he gets sentenced and has to do time and then cannot come into the United States anymore. Hopefully that is the sentence and the judgment. Um, they made him sign an NDA to attend that little pool party. They not coming, sir. I mean, from the nosy ba bystander aspect, it'll be good to eventually get all the dirt on what happened from the beginning to the end. But as a defense, it feels dumb. It doesn't matter what you argued about or can't sh what you argued about. You can't shoot someone if they weren't there to witness the events immediately leading up to you shooting that girl. What's really the point? I think Chris Jenner's legal team is going to block that. Them folks ain't trying to help you. They want zero involvement. He's trying to make her look bad. Fuck the argument. Who fired the shots? All pertinent evidence is relevant in the courtroom. The prosecution needs to prove a motive for the shooting and defense needs to refute it. Funny how all the ones saying they weren't even there weren't there to know who was. What? So that was it for that. So that trial is starting again. Like I said, I hopefully, hopefully, um, what time is it? Hopefully they will sentence him and he won't be allowed in the United States anymore. Kiki Palmer, I guess somebody called Kiki Palmer ugly, which is ridiculous because she's not ugly. Um, she doesn't have, when she doesn't have any makeup on, somebody says she was ugly. I was like, what? That's crazy. What? And I, I know it was a woman. I saw a few comments of people saying I was ugly because I wasn't wearing any makeup. And I really want y'all to get the help y'all need because makeup isn't real. I'm beautiful in real life because of who I am, not what I look like. I wish I could bottle how I feel about myself and sell it because some people take comments to heart and these people really just say anything. I mean, truly, it's insane to say someone, anyone is ugly, but especially me. I call people ugly. I will. Because they be ugly. Like Lil Boosie, he's ugly. Everything, just ugly. Lil Boosie is ugly. Who else? I'm, I'm sure I can find some ugly people. But I know y'all don't like to call people ugly, but I, I, I'll call people ugly. But Kiki Palmer ain't ugly. She ain't ugly. She got some skin issues, you know. She know, and she's talked about that. Um, But that don't make somebody ugly. She has to put on, you know, she puts the makeup on for it. She's on TV and stuff like that. She has to wear the makeup for the TV um, and videos and things like that. But she's not ugly. I think that's rude to say that somebody's ugly because they're not wearing makeup. That's that, that's crazy because they're not wearing makeup. Um, Mariah Carey wants ex-husband Nick Cannon, soon to be father of 12, to carve out more time for their twins, according to insiders. You probably, your twins will probably be um, more balanced without him, his inconsistencies in their life. Um, this idea of trying to make an inconsistent parent to be consistent, I think it does more harm to the children. Um, the inconsistency, I'd rather you not be there than to be inconsistent. I feel like an inconsistent parent in a child's life creates a lot of issues with the child. Um, I think children need structure. And 
order and consistency. And when you have a father who you can literally just turn on the internet and see that your father has had 10 more kids after y'all in a matter of, I don't know, like what, five years, six years, less than that. First of all, it's irresponsible. It's completely irresponsible. It shows that he doesn't, he's not going to be able to spend time with all these kids. And I, when I think about that women are participating in this, it makes me sick to think about that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But to me, I feel like asking an inconsistent parent to be consistent and to keep asking them to be consistent does more harm than good. I think allowing the person to just fade out or tell them, don't come around. If you're going to come around, come around consistently. If you're not going to come around consistently, please don't come around because that just, it's just like, I don't know what it could bring up in a child, like the inconsistent parent. I just, I just don't, I don't agree with it. Although Nick Cannon is working on being a father of 11 children, Mariah Carey wants him to spend more time with their, with the twins they share together. According to Radar Online, Mariah Carey wants her ex-husband, Nick Cannon, to carve out more time to spend with their um, twins, Moroccan and Monroe, rock and roll. <laughs> An insider claimed Mariah Carey asked Nick Cannon to make sure their 11-year-olds their get to see their father as much as possible. They shared, Nick thinks it's crazy, wonderful having all these kids. The insider noted that the Wild and Out star is prepared to keep up his busy schedule so he can provide for his growing family. They added that the 42-year-old is working a lot and has to divide his attention among all his children. If it, it would be different if it was between one woman or even two women, but it's like so many women in different households all over the world, all over the country, all over the state, all over the city. It's like, and I'll tell you what, Nick Cannon, what he's doing, he's not doing any anything different from the average straight black man who's slinging his, he thinks he's slinging his seed all over the place, right? His seed, I'm spreading my seed. It's not a seed, it's a fertilizer, right? It's a fertilizer. The seed is already here. The seed is here. You're just fertilizing it. So you're, you're not spreading a seed, you're spreading fertilizer, then the seeds grow, okay? Let's get that together. That's some language y'all need to stop using. Men don't have seeds. They have fertilizers, right? Semen is a fertilizer. Sperm is a fertilizer, okay? As previously reported, Cannon recently welcomed his 11 child <sighs> along with their newborn daughter. And then they have these fucking dumbass names. And it's just like, to me, I feel like it's just, it's just a fucking ego thing. It's like you, 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 you having all these children and then you're giving them these fucked up names. Like the names are fucked up. I'm sorry. Beautiful Zeppelin girl. Why is that my name? I would be pissed. Beautiful Zeppelin. Along with their newborn daughter, Zion and Zillion. Why is my name Zillion? <sighs> Zion is okay. Zillion, beautiful. What are the other kids' name? Oh, Onyx Ice. Why is my name Onyx? Because you had some ego to fill up. That's why my name, all these children's names are fucked up. And and the fact that you, the women are allowing, because the women, they don't, they have nothing to do with the names of these children. Let me tell y'all something. You're having the baby, you're putting your body through, you could potentially die from having the baby. You name your baby. You name your baby. If the nigga wants to name the baby, give him a list of names that you like and let him pick. And then that way he thinks he picked the name. But you have the names that you like and let him pick out of the one name. Let him pick one name. Here are the names that I like. Pick one. So you think you picked it. Because you're not picking my baby's name, motherfucker. Uh-uh. What? Onyx Ice, what's the other kid's name? Rise Messiah, Golden Saigon, Powerful Queen. Like, what the fuck? 
Girl, I don't even, I'm so pissed right now just thinking about these fucking names. Nick Cannon, your kid's name, Nick Cannon and the rest of you hoes that have babies with him, your kid's names are fucked up. And I wouldn't be surprised if they changed their names or went by something else growing up. What the fuck? Listen to these fucking kids. Onyx Ice Coal? Rise? Why is my name Rise? Rise? Come here, Rise! What the fuck? I definitely spend a lot more time than that on my children annually. I don't plan to ever have to participate in the government system of my child. Nick Cannon previously clarified how much money he pays in child support each year after reports estimated he shells out $3 million. The California native said, I definitely spend a lot more than that on my children annually. I don't plan to ever have to participate in a governmental system of child, I guess, child support. Girl. Zen, that's fine. I guess. Zion, that's fine, I guess. Legendary, legendary Onyx Ice, Rise, Golden Saigon, and Powerful Queen. I bet you everything I have, those women didn't have a say in the names of their children. Because them, them names are ridiculous. And there's no way that y'all 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 let him pick these names. That's disgusting. I'm so disgusted. I don't even want to finish talking about it. Oh, TJ Holmes um, and Robach, they got replaced. They got replaced, honey. On Monday, they had two new faces up there. I said, oh, let me tell you something. Cheating. The hosts have been taken off air to save face for the network's brand. First of all, Good Morning America is on ABC. ABC is a subsidiary uh, under Disney. So you think you're going to have two people on their faces on a screen who cheated on their spouses working for Disney? That's not going to happen. While they were laughing and kikiing on Friday, that was their last day. Now they sitting over at, over there at home, probably staring at each other like, what is we going to do? Girl, y'all better tell y'all story. And they're both cheaters. They both He cheated. He cheated on his wife with another producer. I told y'all that the other day. I said he cheated on his last, last person. He cheated on his last person. They said he cheated with a producer. Um, I told y'all, I told y'all. And then, um, uh, Amy Robach, she cheated on her ex-husband with Andrew Shue, who she's now married to. And then she cheated on Andrew Shue with TJ Holmes. So they're cheaters. So I hope that they don't get married because they are non-monogamous. They're non-monogamous. They can't stay in monogamous relationships. If they're going to be in a, if they're going to be a couple and say, we're going to be non-monogamous, then that's okay, but TJ Holmes and Amy Robach will no longer be holding their 1 p.m. slot for GMA, but apparently it's not because they broke any of the media's company rules. During a staff call, ABC News president Kimberly Goldwyn allegedly said that the decision was prompted by the controversy that the viral scandal caused in and out of the workplace. I want to say that while Holmes and Robach's relationship is not a violation of company policy, I have really taken the last few days to think about and work through what is best for the NBC, ABC News organization. She went on to express her wishes for the employees of ABC News to cease all chatter surrounding the unfortunate situation. This is something I'm not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about this on call until there's more to be said. I'm asking that we stop the whispering in the hallways. You know, we can't operate with gossip and speculation and rumors. We need to stay focused on work. Um, Stephanie Ramos and Gio Benitez were put in place to temporarily fill in for Holmes and Robach, but future substitutes are still to be decided on. It's been quite a month for Holmes and Robach, who made national headlines after they caught cozying up in the New York City streets um, and on a one-on-one -on -one getaway to Shanawak, Shanawak Mountains. I think I pronounced that wrong. Despite seemingly laughing the frenzy off on the set a few mornings ago, the hoopla surrounding the co-workers' rumored romance has since caused them to take down their social media accounts. They can't fire them. They're just probably going to put them off air. You're not going to be the face. 
you're not going to be the face. One of them needs to quit because it happens if they come back to the show and they have a nasty breakup. That's going to be hell for the rest of the cast. I don't know, child. I just, I, if you at Disney, that all that cheating stuff. And, you know, they said they didn't violate company policy, but it's the look, right? This is Disney. We're not playing the cheating games. We're not doing that. Even though there's probably hundreds of people cheating on their spouses who work for Disney and ABC and all the other subsidiaries under Disney. But you're you're not on this, this platform showing your face, laughing and giggling about it, girl. We're not doing that. So it is what it is. I'm 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 done. I think I'm done. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Um, let me know what you think of the, um, the topics I talked about. I hate all of Nick Cannon's children's names. I hate them all. All their names, I hate them. And I think the women did not choose their children's names. And any woman out there pregnant who thinks that there, it's a sign of honor and respect to let a man name your child when your body is going through, you like, literally can die. You can die. Yes, you can die. And you're going to let somebody else name your child? No. No, absolutely not. Get a list of, if you're pregnant and you think you want to let the man name the baby, get names that you like and then have him pick from the names. So you ultimately get, you name your child. He thinks he named the child. That's what I did. So, <laughs> and I had some girl and to be honest, the names that my children have, I wish I, they, I picked them, but I wish they had different names. So, but I was dealing with an unreasonable person whose head needs to be twisted off his body and shoved up his asshole. Take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace.